Oh yeah, baby, what's your 1950 quarter really worth? In this video, we're gonna break it down, let you know what your quarter is worth and how to sell it for the most money possible online. Now there's some really important small details that we go over in this video on your coin that you're gonna need to pay close attention to. Make sure you stay until the end of the video so you don't miss a single point we go over. Now here we have a 1950 S over S, 25 cent repunched mint mark coin graded by PCGS at a mint state 66. Now, now 70 is the highest grade you can get when grading your coin. This one got four points away. Now it may be a bit hard to see here, but the mint mark is located on the back bottom center of the coin. This one, you wanna pay attention to your mint mark because the mint mark on this specific year was re-punched if you have an S mint mark coin. Now S just stands for the San Francisco mint where these coins were produced. So pay close attention, look for that S mint mark, look for the re-punched mint mark because that is gonna be the thing that really increases the value of your coin Coin. And remember, the higher the grade your coin goes, the more money it's going to be worth. Someone noticed this and was able to turn a 25 cent coin into 180 bucks. Now this 1950D 25 cent Washington quarter was graded by PCGS at a mint state 67 plus. Now that plus sign does increase the value of the coin quite significantly. Pretty much it happens when a grader is grading a coin and they say, hey, this coin looks really, really nice for the grade. I think it deserves a plus sign, which will increase the value of the coin. This one was graded, like I said, at a 67 plus, and that's about it. The grade's really high. You do see a bit of toning going on at the bottom right area of the coin. This one sold for 576 bucks. Here we have a 1950 25 cent DDR or doubled die reverse. So the back of this coin has some pretty apparent doubling happening there. You're going to have to look closely. Sometimes the doubling is easier to see than other points, but one area that I do want to point out is the beak area of the eagle on the back. That is some pretty apparent doubling happening. You can see it looks like it is doubled in that tip of the beak area. So doubling will increase the value of your coin. You want to look out for doubling. Someone was able to sell this coin on Heritage for 504 bucks. Now this next coin sold for $1,020. It is a 1950 S over D coin graded by PCGS at a mint state 65. Now that is a really beautiful coin just looking at it. Another area you're going to want to look at is that S over D. You can see that the mint mark on the back is really messed up. Something really odd is happening there. That is because it got a mint error during the production of this coin. So if you have a 1950 Washington quarter, you're going to want to pay close attention to these mint mark issues that are happening because people are finding them and getting them graded and selling them online for a ton of money. 2,040 bucks for this 1950 25 cent Washington quarter that was struck on a 10 cent planchet. So the planchet weighs 2.5 grams. If you're ever curious, a good thing to do is to weigh your coin. Weigh your coin, see how much they weigh. This is a mint air. The coin is graded by NGC at a mint state of 63. That's the lower end of the mint state grades. Typically, when you get a coin graded and it's a general mint state coin, you're going to get into that 64 to 65 range. So 63 to 60 is considered the lower end. And I would say 66 to 70 is definitely the higher end of the scale. But yeah, there's a good chance that someone back in the day was throwing these 10 cent planchets into the hopper of the Washington quarters. They were turning these coins into really collectible coins without even really knowing it. Who knows if this person had a handful of them, put them in his pocket, went home and said, hey honey, look at all these cool coins that I made today. Who actually knows if that happened or if they went out into circulation? Either way, this is a really cool oddity and it sold for 2,040 bucks, $2,400 for this coin. It is a 1950 25 cent Washington quarter graded by PCGS at a mint state 66. So look once again at that mint mark. The mint mark is so important on these. Let's zoom right in there. You can see that this is a D over S mint mark. So they call this an over mint mark. Once again, you know, 1950 had a big issue when it came to the mint marks on these coins. So if you have a 1950 quarter, look at the mint mark. See if anything odd is happening there because that can allow you to sell your coin online for a lot of money. This one sold for $2,400. Now, if you don't want to sell your coin online, that is completely fine. You can go to a local coin shop. We recommend going to at least three different coin shops. Now, before you do that, you need to educate yourself a little bit. That's why we made a completely free coin and currency ebook down below. It goes over coin handling, coin grading, and coin valuations, and currency if you have any paper money. It gives it all to you for absolutely free. Pick that up. You definitely won't regret it. This coin here sold for $11,400. It's a 1950, 25 cent Washington quarter graded by PCGS at a mid-state 68. Now, this beautiful coin here sold for $11,400. 
dollars. That is so much money for this coin, and it sold recently in 2024 on Heritage Auctions. I say this because it doesn't matter if you're watching this video in 2024 or if you're watching it in 2034, the market prices are still going to be relevant. You need to know how much these coins are selling for so you can maximize the value of your coin. This one has some toning going on with it, just the way it was stored, the air reacted with the metals in the coin, causing a discoloration look. This coin is graded so highly, it's a 68, that's only two points away from the perfect grade 70. Every single grade difference will really increase the value of your coin, so just know that the value of your coin is really dictated on the condition. That is why handling your coin is so, so important, handling it properly, that way you don't accidentally damage the coin, causing the value to go down. This coin sold for a staggering $11,400. Now, if you enjoyed this video, do make sure to pick up your completely free coin currency book down below, and we will see you in the next one.